Hello, my name is Marion, and I'm a volunteer at the Northside Open Door Program of Literacy Minnesota. Um, over the past months, pre-COVID, I was working as a volunteer, teaching a small group of pre-literate students and helping out in a beginner level class. In that class, I was assigned to sit next to an older, dignified Oromo man named Haicho. And it was clear when we were in class that he was parroting and he had certainly was interested, but he was not reading and not really understanding what was being said. Well, then everything came to a screeching halt when COVID hit us all, North, side, North um, had to close, and our, our director, Lloyd, came up with the idea that we could do some individual tutoring and ask me if I would work with Haicho again. So he and I, I got some training and I got from Minnesota Literacy. I also got to shadow someone for a little while while they helped me kind of figure out how to do things um, online. And we worked on WhatsApp on our telephones. And it turned out that Haicho knows a lot more about WhatsApp than I do because that's how he communicates with his family back in Ethiopia. We took For a few months, we worked on that small screen, but he was having hearing, trouble hearing and really had to look at this tiny screen to try to read the stories that we were reading and the letters we were working on. And finally, he got access to a computer. So now we work on Zoom, and that's great because he hears well and he has a nice big screen to, to read from. Well, since we've been working together, he works with, he lives with his adult children and grandchildren, doesn't go out to work or do shopping. So I write stories for him that relate to his life and use the easy words that are the key words he needs to learn. And he is doing incredibly. He is now really reading. Um, he can read most of the early keywords and can sort of slowly work through words that have a lot of syllables. I don't know that he comprehends them. So I found online an Oromo phrase app and also an Oromo dictionary. And so now I've got English words and Oromo words. He doesn't know how to read Oromo. He didn't go to school when he was young. So he reads the English words then he reads the Oromo words, and then he recognizes the words he knows, which is really fun and exciting. And then he gets what we're trying to get across as he's learning English. So we're really having a good time together, and we've decided that we're going to be each other's teachers. So he is my Oromo Bashisha. Isn't that a beautiful word? Bashisha. It means teacher. And I am his English teacher. And we actually have a good laugh a lot of the time when I have just as much of a challenge learning the Oromo as he has learning the English. But the truth is he has made incredible progress in these months because I can spend two, two days a week, I spend an hour with him and he always wants to go longer than we can, but I have to go to work. Um, and so he's making great progress and we've established a really fun relationship and I've even had a chance to meet a couple of his adult children who have gone through the same Minnesota literacy program and are bilingual. So it's really a great experience.